this card. You're welcome, save your life. <laughs> Welcome to this week's reading vlog. It is Monday, July 15th, 2019, around like 12.30. I spent the entire morning trying to finish the same book that I've been reading for over two months now. <laughs> but we're finally almost done. So if you guys watched last reading vlog, you know what book I'm talking about because I've been complaining about it nonstop. But it is Solving Cadence Moore by Gregory Sterner. And this is about a girl named Cadence Moore who went missing years ago. And she's supposed to be some like hot shot like musical person who was like up and coming and then she goes missing and nobody knows where she went and oh my goodness like it's this big catastrophe it becomes an unsolved mystery and then a guy named Charlie Marks who is part of a podcast decides that he's going to solve this case and it's basically the story of how he solved the case but it is so bad ah it is the most annoying book. The amount of like sexist, racist, and just like derogatory paragraphs in this book is ridiculous. I'm on page 323 of 367, but it's for a publisher, so I'm like, I cannot DNF, and also I just hate DNFing books. It like, something inside of me just like panics when I DNF a book, so I always try to finish it. So I'm finally almost done. It's been a long haul, but the goal is to finish this book this week. And then, as you guys know, always have an audiobook going with my physical book so this week's audiobook or like today's audiobook is the program by Suzanne Young and this is about like suicide becoming an epidemic and it's like contagious and the only way to like stop the suicide epidemic is to be part of this program which basically just like wipes your memories and makes you like reset I guess I'm only on the fourth chapter which is only 40 pages in so like can't say if I like it or hate it yet the narrator's voice is kind of annoying I have no idea who the narrator is but so far not exactly the biggest fan but the story is pretty interesting so far I mean it's kind of like the backstory about how the world became that way but you know we're gonna listen to it a bit today I work at four o'clock till 8 15 and then I think I'm going to Ricardo's afterwards I don't know if that's actually gonna happen I'm planning on filming a couple videos right now but I don't know how well that's gonna go because I just am not in the mood but also I have not filmed in a while and I need videos for this week so I need to film my reading rush TBR a like need to be done today kind of thing so I have to make the TBR still I think that's what I'm gonna go do now and then we're gonna finish solving cadence more maybe probably not because i'm gonna avoid it at all costs but wish me luck welcome to quality car content guess who finished her book this girl not me i'm giving it a one star because that was painful how long did it take you to read that whole book like two months no i'm sorry how long was like it? two months really yes and um Usually, I read a book in like two to three days. But it's over, it's done, and I can throw the book away. And now I'm off to work. Weird angle, but deal with it. I got two packages in the mail yesterday, so I figured I would open them for you guys today. It's now Tuesday. First one is from Penguin Random House, and oh no, it's the one with the gross packaging that like literally is just fluff and it just gets everywhere oh no it's all over my bed Ooh. oh okay i know what this is so it's hideaway by nicole lundergreen and like i really like this like little pieces of the house because they're like raised and it's like really interesting anyways this is apparently like a mixture of room by emma donahue and for fans of sherry lapena who I really like so I'm really excited about this but basically it's about this woman named Gloria who has a family with her husband and two kids and then her husband ends up leaving her because she's like abusive and crazy and then her son goes missing and he like runs off with a homeless man named Carl and they go to this like abandoned house and then he like sets off a bunch of like paranoia in this homeless man and it's basically like two storylines is Gloria trying to find her son and get her husband to come home and then also 
her son and this homeless man like live in their paranoid lives. I don't know. I think it sounds really cool though. I'm really excited about it. it says it's a bone chilling tale that goes places you'll never expect. So thank you to Penguin Random House. I'm actually really excited for this. And then the second one is from Raincoast Books and I think that is a graphic novel. Like that's what it feels like. And I'm hoping that it is the next adventure zone graphic novel because that comes out soon and i read the first one and was obsessed with it but i don't think they're gonna send it to me and oh my <laughs> basically like this podcast that two brothers and their dad run so based off of like dungeons and dragons but the first book was so good and they just sent me the second one and i'm so excited <laughs> Thank you, Raincoast. Oh my god, I'm gonna read this like ASAP. Like, I just love all the characters. This guy is literally like the human version of a golden retriever. And then, I don't know if it's Taco or Taco, but I call them Taco. <laughs> but I love them. They're so sassy and hilarious. And then, this guy is like scared of everything and I think it's the funniest thing ever but I am so excited to see where the story goes because it left off on a huge cliffhanger at the end of the last one. It's basically like their podcast episodes like put into graphic novel form but <laughs> thank you Raincoast. I guess while we're here we can also give our uh, reading update. So as you saw in the last clip I finally finished Cadence Moore giving it a one star. Hated it. Never going to look at it in my life again. But then I started the program by Suzanne Young yesterday and now I'm 140 pages in and I'm actually really liking it a lot more than I thought I would. I don't know what it is about it but it's still like kind of iffy for me but so far I am enjoying it but I still have some like reservations going in i don't know if that's the word i'm looking for but like i'm on part two now which is like the part where it starts to get into the story and it's not so much the backstory of how suicide became an epidemic so it's getting good it's getting good and then i also started the best lies by sarah liu this morning i'm only like 10 pages in because i got distracted and didn't want to hold a book anymore but i'm obsessed with this cover just saying but this is about a girl named remy who has like a best friend and a boyfriend her life is going pretty good but then the best friend ends up shooting the boyfriend in the chest claiming it was self-defense and then she has to decide like if it was self-defense or something more sinister and dun 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 but so far 10 pages in it's literally just said that he got shot in his chest and she's really upset about it i actually really like the writing style of this so far even though like i'm 10 pages in i'm pretty interested in figuring out if this bitch shot the boyfriend for self-defense or not so i work today at four o'clock i still have not filmed my reading rush tbr so i might end up doing that because i actually do need to do that and i finally picked a tbr except i think i'm gonna switch this book in there now and this will be good for the read in one place challenge because you know it's pretty short easy to read in one place that's what we're gonna go do now actually i'm gonna go film that so hold me accountable. You guys can't hold me accountable by the time you see this video. It's already going to be uploaded, so it's fine. Hello. Oh it is too early o'clock. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to work. Come it's 7:30. And Mama 30. Bear is driving her. Okay, I could drive myself, but Curtis has to go to work too. But I have to go to work for 7:45 until 10 o'clock. I'm usually until 12 on Wednesdays, but because they're not going to the African Lion Safari today, they cut my hours till 10 because I'm not needed. But then on Friday, I picked up more hours. So we're okay. We actually gained hours. We gained like two and a bit. Yeah, but still annoying. Um, I'm tired. I was clinging to the sleep that I could have. And my mom came in and was like, Jay, it's time to wake up. And I was like, five more minutes. It was just like that. Because <laughs> I set my alarm. And then the dagger shot out. Yeah, the laser beams. The laser beams out of your eyeballs. Yes. But, um, so that's what's going on now. I'm gonna go to work and then I'm going to go cry and die. Ooh, guys. Why are you gonna cry and die? Oh, what is, oh shut your mouth. What oh, is. Oh, and it starts. <laughs> Hi, good morning. <laughs> what is my aesthetic? So Boston, who does like outros and intros for people, is making me an intro and outro. And she's like, what's your aesthetic? And I was like, oh. uh, dope. 
purple. That's all I got for so you. So is it what people associate with you? I don't or? even know. Like whatever vibe you want. Oh, so what like is your vibe, messy chaos. Exactly. I'm like ah. <laughs> Who knows? So I was basically just like uh, purple and then listed a bunch of things that I liked and was like, this is not helpful, but good luck. So shout out to Boston because I'm sorry. But let me know down below what y'all think my aesthetic is because all I got is purple. Sparkles. Hello? Why do you have to yell when you say hello? Because it makes me feel like I'm greeting everybody okay. with enthusiasm. I got my Jolly Rancher slushie from Tim Hortons and it's the best thing ever and mommy hates it. Yes, I hate it. It just kind of zaps you. It's like a sour watermelon slushy. And then there's bits in it. And then there's bits of Jolly Rancher in it and it is so good. But it's only limited time so you have to get it now and get a lot of them. Mom's having a meltdown. <laughs> What's wrong, Joel? <laughs> you yes. get that? Mom has brain freeze. I never oh get brain freeze, God. but she's like crying about it. That's bad. But every time I buy something frozen, I do it. I don't know why I buy it. It's all in your head. Brain it, freeze does not uh, exist. No. It's like I'm having an aneurysm. Never had it. And then they say you're supposed to put your tongue on the top of your mouth, like push on the top of your mouth, or use your thumb on the top of your mouth. It's supposed to make it go away. The hell that works. Still have not experienced. Clearly I am the uh, superior you specimen. You don't have a brain, that's the problem. Also true. I just finished The Program by Suzanne Young and this book is like really underrated. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I did not expect to like it as much as I did, but like it was really good. I hated the love triangle. It was stupid because I ship Sloane and James 100%. Realm is annoying. Sorry, he is. The book left off on such a cliffhanger that I want to pick up the second book, like, right now. But Overdrive does not have it on audiobook, so I, like, recommended it and was like, buy this book. So hopefully they will, because I have to read an audiobook. I can't start another physical book, because I haven't finished the one that I started yesterday. I'm still only 10 pages in. So hopefully my library decides to get it on Overdrive, because I really want to pick up the second book or maybe I should just go read the physical book I don't know where it is wait oh right there if I can read that finish that then I can pick up the next book in the series because like that cliffhanger I need to know what happens I need to go pick another audiobook I think I'm going to read The Opposite of Always by Jason A. Reynolds because I ordered that off of overdrive and it came in this morning so that might be the next one i think it is but it's all the way on my little cart over there and i'm too lazy to get up so i think i'll just start the audiobook because i've literally been in my bed since two o'clock it's now 6 10 so <laughs> i'm a it's it's a lazy day okay it's fine I deserve this. I deserve this. I'm gonna go listen to my audiobook now. Hi, weird angle again. It's now Thursday. I just finished a shift at one of my jobs, two to four. I'm like in between now until five where I'm going to my other job. But two packages from Macmillan came in. They're both the exact same like size. I have no idea what they are, but figured we'd open them on camera for you guys to see what they are. Ooh! Supernova sampler. This is the third book in the Renegades trilogy, which is one of my favorite trilogies by Marissa Meyer. So sampler, exciting. I'm gonna guess this is also a sampler. Maybe it's the exact same sampler. We, we, we will find out when we open. Ooh, different sampler. Rebel by Marie Lu. I haven't actually read the Legend series. I have Legend and I have Prodigy, but I don't have Champion. But now I have a sampler of the fourth book, so the Writing is purple. I like purple, so that's exciting. So, two samplers. I just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> Thank you, Macmillan, for the samplers. I will read this one because I've read the first two. I'm not going to read this until I've read the actual series, you know? I guess we can also do 
a reading update. So as of yesterday, I am on page 295 of The Opposite of Always by Jason A. Reynolds and I freaking adore this book so far. I think that Jack and Kate are adorable. I think they are so funny together and cute and I'm just like in my feels and I hate that Kate is sick and it makes me really sad. I've almost cried like three times already so I'm over halfway through but not finished yet and I don't think I get to listen to any more of it today because I have to go to work 5 to 9 30 like I said and then I haven't read any more of Best Lies because I'm too lazy to hold a book right now I'm not in the mood because it's been a difficult two days so <laughs> it's fine but I'm gonna go get ready for my other shift now this okay. is what I live on a daily basis you with this on the thing, don't you being obnoxious? Yes, I do. Like <laughs> you done now? Yeah. No. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday now. I worked twelve forty-five to four, and now I'm going back to work five to nine thirty. At a different building. At a different place. What's happening tonight at work? Friday fun night, which means I get to watch a kids movie because I'm an adult. And you get paid for it. Oh yeah, I get to watch kids Netflix. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dream job. What did you watch last week? I watched Hotel Transylvania 2. Maybe have I, I seen watch... Hotel Transylvania 1? Oh. No, I have not. So maybe you'll watch 3 today. I don't know. The children pick. Oh. Don't hit them. Don't hit the car. Good job. Good driving. Proud thank of you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello! <laughs> I know you wait for my reaction every time, don't you? <laughs> yes. It's Saturday. And are you working today? No, I'm off. So we Yay. are going to go get hair dye because that's what we do when we're sad because we're girls. I'm fine. I'm sad. So we're going to go dye our hair again. No, you're going to dye your hair. No, you're also going to dye your hair. I'm not. Catch us outside with purple hair. <laughs> wow. That's what she oh, used I feel to like, do. I feel like Boo from uh, Monsters, Inc. She used to wear her hair like that? Well, she had little pigtails. Little pigtails? Yeah, but my hair's too long for little pigtails. My hair was like that, though. That's what she would Look. do to me. It's time. <laughs> it's time. It's da, time. Da, da. I like that you. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to repeat that? Too late. Tell them about our ant problem. No, I'm not doing problem. Why? You know so much about ants, though. I spent a lot of time, a lot of time it, researching as a child. Because you didn't have a life. <laughs> this bitch <laughs> has gotten <laughs> my face, my neck, my ear. <laughs> Can you do a little better? I got your dot there, too. I don't have any on me though. You You're a here. mess. Exactly. You got this for free. Thanks a lot. No, I had to buy the dye. No, the the service. The, the service, service sucks. <laughs> Zero out of ten stars. <laughs> will not recommend to others. So I won't do it again for you? No, you will. What do you have to say for yourself? I have it on me too. Yeah, do you have it on your neck? No. I have it on my shirt though. Mm. You can wash your shirt. Yeah. It won't come off my face though. So. Yay. So here's my finished purple hair product. I am so happy to be back to my purple. I feel like myself again. You know that like meme on Twitter that's going around that's like, therapist, now what do we do when we're upset? And then it's like, me, we dye our hair. Exhibit A. I love it. I love it so much. I just honestly feel like more of myself when I have my purple hair, if that makes sense. Like obviously it's not my natural color, but I just feel like I'm more J when my hair is purple. It probably doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but I don't know, I feel like more confident, more sassy, and just like all around spunky, you know? <laughs> so the past couple of days have been a roller coaster of emotions, hence the purple hair. But tonight it's gonna be maybe a disaster, maybe not, we will see. But um, I don't wanna talk about it because you know, some things, should stay with yourself, you know, whatever. But um, 
we'll do our reading update for today. I finished Opposite of Always by Jason A. Reynolds and I'm gonna give it a four. I really liked it but it wasn't like spectacular. Like I wasn't blown away by it but I really liked Kate and Jack. I think they're a super cute couple. And I actually really like the ending. Four out of five for this. And then I read like two more pages of this so like I haven't really got an update on that. But then we started our next audiobook for this week, the rest of the week. It's In the Key of Nira Ghani by Natasha Dean and I was sent this by Hatchet Canada to read and review. I am like 100, 130 pages in so far. It's about this girl named Nira who is an immigrant and she's basically trying to fit in at her new school but she's the only brown girl and then her parents want her to be a doctor, but she doesn't want to be a doctor. She wants to be a musician, so it's basically like her trying out for jazz band to, you know, get a spot in jazz band, and then her trying to fit in as well. But so far, it's pretty good. I also just really like the cover. I think it's really pretty, but I'm only... Like I said, 130 pages in. It's a pretty short book. It's only 295 pages, so I might actually be able to finish it by tonight, but we'll update you tomorrow and we'll see. Wow. Great shot. <laughs> it's now Sunday. Last time you saw me, I was depressed. Now we're not depressed. Last night went really well, so hopefully things get better. Update, because I have to go to work at 4 to 8 30 today but i just filmed a video i'm part of a collab that we have to recommend books based off of our zodiac sign so i just filmed that so i have to go edit that but i figured while i'm in my room and going to put things on my computer we might as well do our reading update so reading update i am on page 175 of in the key to nira Ghani focus there you go now you can see the cover but I'm on 175 I'm still really liking it I think it's probably gonna be a 3.5 unless more shit starts happening because like it's good it's like your typical coming of age story she's like learning to love herself blah 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 you know but I like when things get stabbed and murdered so this is not my typical read but I'm enjoying it. The Best Lies, still have not read any more of that so don't have an update for that. That's the end of this vlog because I need to go edit that collab clip and then the vlog so that I can get it up for tomorrow before I go to work on Monday. I'll see you all in next week's reading vlog which is going to be my reading rush vlog. If you guys haven't seen my TBR for that, check that out. Hopefully we actually get some reading done. I work a lot next week, so don't know if that's actually gonna happen, but we'll see how many books we can get finished. I will see you all later. Goodbye!